This is the video for Lesson 5 on my website, Skip Counting. It's important to feel comfortable counting in different special ways. For example, I could choose to start counting on the number 4, and then I could choose to keep adding 3 every time. So my next number would be 7, and then 10, 13, 16, and so on. I formed a pattern by adding 3 each time. Now very often you'll get a question where one number is missing. So for example this number could be missing and there'll be typically a line showing the blank spot and you would have to fill in the missing number. And just by looking at the pattern you can very easily see what the answer is. Let's try another pattern. I'm going to start on 2 and this time I'll add 5 each time. So of course we have 7 then followed by 12 17, 22, and so on. Make sure that you feel comfortable counting in different ways like this. Now the most common type of skip counting that we do is listing multiples of a number. And here's how this works. I'm going to list multiples of the number 3. What I'll do is I'll start on 3 and then just keep adding 3. So we get 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and so on. Of course, we could just keep going. Let's try listing multiples of 9. We have 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, and so on. There's actually an interesting pattern. If you look at the digits in all of these multiples of 9, the digits always add up to 9. So that's a trick that can help you remember them. It's important to be able to list multiples of numbers from 1 to at least 12 and be able to do that very quickly. So for example, if someone asked you to count by sixes, to list multiples of sixes, you should be able to go 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, etc. Make sure that you feel very comfortable doing that very quickly and easily. It'll help you tremendously in later math.